Example 4. Using geometry to evaluate integrals. Evaluate the following integrals by interpreting each in terms of areas. So if part A, we have the integral that's going from 0 to 1 of the function square root of 1 minus x squared dx. Let's just take a look at what this would look like on Desmos. Okay, so we're going to graph the function y minus x squared, the square root of that function. Okay, now keep in mind that it's going from 0 to 1, so we need to put in the restrictions. It's going from 0 less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 1. And then what we can see is we get this half or this quarter of a circle, okay? And we want to have everything that's shaded in there. All right, now before we look at the graph, okay, the complete graph, okay, what it's telling us is if you look at the upper... Um, part of this graph, that means that this function is going to be greater than or equal to zero. So the first thing we need to identify is the fact that f of x, which is equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared, is greater than or equal to zero. Okay, and so then what we can do is we can now interpret this as being y which is equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay, now if we squared both sides of this, so if we're going to square the left side and then square the right side, okay, so we end up getting x squared, which is equal to 1 minus x squared. Okay, and if we combine all the variable terms on the left side, we end up getting x squared plus y squared, which is equal to 1. Well, this tells us that this is actual a circle, x squared plus y squared is equal to 1, where we have a radius of 1. Okay, so let's take a look at what this graph is. So here's the graph, and so what we end up getting is this function here, okay, and we also know that this is a quarter circle. So this represents a quarter circle. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that we have a radius of 1. Okay, so by using geometry, okay, what do we know? Well, we know that the integral goes from 0 to 1 times the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. And what do we know about the area of a circle? We know it's going to equal pi r squared. Okay? So, but we know that it's one-fourth of that. So that means we're going to take one-fourth and then multiply it by pi r squared. Well, what do we know about r? We know that r is 1. So we end up getting pi over 4 using geometry of the area that is shaded underneath that region. Okay, now let's take a look at part B. Okay, part B, we want to evaluate the integral that goes from 0 to 3 of x minus 1 dx. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that into our graph. So we have the function x minus 1. Okay, and then what else do we know? We know that it's going to be in between 0 and 3. Okay, so here is our graph. So that means that if it's in between 0 and 3, that means that we have this part that's going to be shaded here, and then we're also going to shade this part, which is over here. So there's a few things that we need to know. We know that we need this point up here, which is 3, 2. We know that this point represents 1, 0, and this point down here represents 0, negative 1. So let's see what this graph looks like when we put it together here. Okay, so here's the graph, y equals x minus 1. We're going from 0 to 3. There is the shaded part, okay? So that means that this area is below the x-axis, which is a2. And then here we have the area of 1, which is above the x-axis. 
So again, let's take a look at this using geometry. So we know that we have the integral that goes from 0 to 3 of x minus 1 dx. Okay, and so what that's going to mean is in order for us to find the area, we're going to take the area of 1 and then subtract the area of 2 to be able to get this result, again, by using geometry. Okay, well, remember here that we have a triangle, right? So this is a right triangle here. So we know, and this is also a right triangle, okay? So what is the distance from here to here? We know that this distance is 1. And what is the distance from here to here? We know that that represents 1 as well. And then for this triangle, for A1, we know the distance between the 1 and 3 is going to give us 2. And then the distance from here to here is the y, which is 2. Okay? So, what is the area of a triangle? We know it's one-half the base times the height. So, for area one, we know it's going to be one-half times the base times the height, which is two times two, minus the area of two, which again is going to be one-half times the base times the height, which is one times one. So, therefore, we end up getting two times two, which is four, divided by two, which is two. And then minus, we have 1 times 1, which is 1 over 1 half, which becomes 1 point, excuse me, not 1.5, that is 0.5. And so 2 minus 0.5 is 1.5. So therefore, that represents the area. And again, that is just using geometry of information that we can obtain from the graph.